Staying with sports, Brooklyn is buzzing with boxing's return to the Barclays Center on Saturday night with Cletus Selden, the Hebrew Hammer, defending his NABA Super Lightweight Championship against challenger William Silva. The Hebrew Hammer has earned that nickname over the years. He has just one loss in 26 fights. But due to the COVID pandemic, due to New York's strict health restrictions, and also one last-minute fight cancellation, Cletus hasn't been able to fight since February 2020. When he won in a TKO, which is par for the course for the guy, Cletus has over two dozen knockouts over his career. With us now is the Hebrew Hammer himself, Cletus Selden, joining us in New York. Thank you so much, Cletus. My man, how are you feeling as you head into the fight feeling, this weekend? I'm feeling great. Uh, it's, today's Thursday, way into tomorrow, so that's like possibly the hardest thing besides the fight. There's like two fights. You're fighting the weight, and you're fighting the actual opponent. So uh, everything's set. Everything's ready to go. Just got to lose a few more pounds and stay super relaxed. Um, I do hot yoga. I don't know how many days a week. And uh, it's the only place I find myself uh, on, in, on Long Island where there's more Jewish people in there than anybody else. It's like, I'm like, wow, I'm not the minority for once. <laughs> uh, I want to ask, you've had a long layover. I mean, it's been about a year and a half since your last pro fight. You were caught in the middle of the COVID pandemic. How do you stay mentally sharp? Um, so I fought literally the last fight in uh 2020 before lockdown and then that whole year i had nothing to do so on my birthday uh, september 11th i ran 50 miles uh so that was my that was my fight for me and then this year my fight got canceled on september 4th so i ran for my birthday this year 35 miles and now just in that i guess i'm like a um obsessive person when it comes to uh physical fitness and trying new adventures I want to ask about the guy you're fighting. His nickname is Babyface. It seems like the Hammer should have no trouble with a guy named Babyface. What should fans expect? Uh, it's interesting because usually when my, my face is shaved, I look like a baby face. So his face is not going to look like no baby face. The Hebrew Hammer is coming to fight, and I am looking to destroy whatever's in, in my path. What is your goal? I mean, do you want a quick knockout? Are you expecting a tough fight? That's kind of like a war of attrition. What, what's your what's your goal heading into the match? Um, I'm trained to do 10, 10 rounds. I'm trained to fight every second of the every round. And it depends on the opponent on how well he is prepared. And he trained for it's very tough to find people to spar that uh, that look like me in the ring. So we'll see how he's able to uh, come forwards against me or go backwards. If he comes forwards, he's going to have a problem. Go backwards, he's a little bit more safer. You want a knockout, though. You don't want a, you want a knockout. Well, you know, I am Jewish, and the fact that my promoter said I get a bonus for knock him out, I'm definitely try to go for the knockout. <laughs> I usually go for the knockout every single fight. Can I ask about that nickname, the Hebrew Hammer? I mean, you're a great boxer. You have some incredible wins in your career. How do you feel about being so closely identified with your Jewish heritage? I love it. Uh, and anybody who ever hears it for the first time, they, they know my uh, charisma and excitement that they this is the perfect name for you. And I love the fact that I can represent who I want and what I want in the ring of boxing, where other sports you can't do that. Uh, you can't do that in, in baseball, NBA, soccer, anything. So for me, I'm allowed to wear Star of David on my trunks, remember to decide on the back of my trunks and represent the Hebrew Hammer. Now talk to McLeus about how it feels to be fighting in the Barclays Center. I mean, the uh, big arenas in New York are again able to have live events, live boxing matches. Yeah, this is going to be something totally new. I fought at Madison Square Garden. I fought at uh, NASA Coliseum here on Long Island. I've been on HBO back to back months. But I think this one is going to be totally different. The Trilla Network is running it where they have like this big rap scene, big rap battles. On top of that, you can watch the fight on Fight Tight uh, fight tv and it's supposed to be like an extraordinary unreal kind of event for me i haven't taken it in yet i guess when i get there then i'll then i'll move my uh excitement towards that all right hebrew hammer we wish you luck on saturday at the barclays center you just explained how to watch the fight on saturday uh, to watch it live good luck my man and afterwards when you come here to israel you and me we're gonna spar a little bit yeah. here in tel aviv when you come 
That sounds amazing. I 100% want to do it. I want to do. I'm going to go to Israel for my dad's uh, 72nd birthday. All my right. My family's going to go off to Israel. We'll see you. You and me in the ring, you'll show me how to do it. Let's go. Right, Let's good, go. Good luck, Cletus.